Hi, it's Tom Cherry, I'm the Linux MCE. I wanted to go ahead and give you a quick status update on the voicemail stuff that I just completed. Um, voicemail has been part of the system since 0704. Unfortunately, uh, until now, it wasn't really completely usable. There were some missing features. Uh, you couldn't see the, the metadata attached to the messages, such as the duration, where it came from, etc., etc. And there wasn't much control over playing the messages either. So, really, you wound up having to go back to the website anyway to, to check your voicemail. Really, not all that great. While it's still not complete now, we still, um, it's to the point now where you can at least listen to the messages at any orbiter. Uh, with a media director attached in the house or a squeeze box. And I'll go ahead and just show you a couple of the variations just to show you a little bit of the user interface work that I've been doing to make all of this happen. So, without any further ado, most commonly, you guys will probably be using uh, UI2 here. So we have our UI2 screen, and at any given point, one moment here, I do apologize, I'm using a handheld camera for everything, so uh, things are a little shaky while I move around. This is partially because I can't pause. I can't pause because once I hit the stop record button, it stops recording. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my voicemail here for Tom. And we'll see that the display has changed a little bit. We have here, let's zoom in a little bit. We have uh, we now see who it's from, uh, caller ID as long with uh, as well as a duration, and we have the addition of some nice buttons here on the right hand side to handle uh, essentially what is a jog shuttle for two seconds skips forward or backward in the message. Now I'm going to go ahead and play a, an example message here. This one's from my mother. Hey Tom. Now you'll notice here we also have time code up here on the top. I'm going to try to change this text to white to white for UI2 so it's more readable. Now of course you can skip back and forward. That sort of thing. And of course you can pause it. And at any time you wish to take and stop the voicemail messages, you can hit the power button. So that's for UI2. I've also implemented it because Orbiter is retargetable. It's also implemented on devices for devices such as my Orbiter touch panel here. I'll tap me here. Same basic layout, same basic design here. And I'll go back again. And you'll notice that when I play a particular message, it will send itself to the orbiter that's already in the room. Pressing another message will start to play. And of course, hitting stop stops the mail here too. Now we've also implemented this for the PDA. The main difference with the PDA is that I had to compress the user interface a bit so that it fits vertically on the screen here. I pushed all of this down to the bottom here with the power button on the right, the home button on the left here, and I got rid of the fast forward button because I figured that the two most important buttons that would be used so that things could still fit would be rewind so you could hear what you just heard, like what was that, or, uh, you know, and the pause button so you could pause messages as well as being able to turn them off and go back to the home here. Only real difference in the PDA variation. The only other major piece was that you couldn't, at any given time, use the cell phone to check your voicemails when you were inside the house. I have rectified this situation. And if we go into our cell phone UI here, you'll see that there is now a new option, 7, called voicemail. Let me actually take and zoom in a bit, little zoom out a little bit here so we can see. 
And I wish we had an optimal zoom level here. And if we push 7, we will be transported to our voicemail menus here. Same basic thing as you saw on some of the other data grids. And selecting a voicemail will cause it to play. Tapping it with the OK button starts it playing. And like the mute recent modifications that I've made, uh, pressing 5 will pause. Play again. Pressing 4 will call it to skip back 2 seconds. And forward. And you press the red button here to stop your voicemails. So, there we go. Uh, just a little update of what to expect and other bits of features to expect in 0810. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Should you guys have any questions or any concerns, feel free to either leave me a message on the forums. It's Chuck909, T-S-C-H-A-K-909. Or uh, contact me on the Linux MCE channel on irc.freednode.net. Until next time, see you guys later.